five of Ignite and today we're working our inner thighs and our outer glutes. We have a brand new set of eight exercises to complete with 40 seconds of work and a 20 second break on each one and we're going to complete four rounds. You can do this workout with a resistance band or without but you will need a yoga block and also a dumbbell. For your reference I'm going to be using 9kg dumbbell today. As usual we're going to start off with a warm up and then finish off with a really nice cool down. So when you're ready guys let's ignite. Okay, let's warm up our inner thighs. Let's take our legs nice and wide. And then what we're gonna do is lean from right to left. And we're gonna do this five times on each side. Nice and gentle. And last couple. Back to the center. Bring the feet in. Now bring your right leg out to the side and then back to the center. Try and keep your balance. And do this eight times on the right side. And then switch eight times on the left. Warming up our outer glutes here. back to center. Take your feet hip width apart and then open up on the right. Really big circles. Right side. Let's concentrate on the right first. So we'll do six on the right and then we'll swap to the left. Hip openers and change. center well done okay now what we're going to do is we're going to squat down body weight push out the knees and then rise we'll do this 10 times out in rise good work halfway there When you've done 10, come back up, shake out the legs, and let's get ready for a really great set. Okay, we're starting off with a side lunge. We're gonna use a yoga block, so we just need one block. We're gonna place the left foot on the block, stand nice and tall next to the block, and we're gonna simply step out to the side and work the inside of our left inner thigh to start with. Are you ready? Let's go. And step back in. They lunge out to the side, get down to a really deep range of motion. So you're really working out your inner thigh. And then step back in, push off with that left. And then in with the right. Nice. Just keep that momentum going nice and smooth. Great work. I can feel it. Working already. Nice exercise to start off with for the inner thighs. Last couple to go. And maybe one more. And relax, nice. Okay, let's go over to the other side. So just move your yoga block over to the other side. Place the right foot on now. Again, nice and tall. Stepping out to the left this time, I'm gonna work the right inner thigh. Let's do it. Out to the side and then back in. Great work. Try to get down to your best range of motion. If you can't go down too far, don't worry, just keep practicing. You'll get there. in the thighs in today's session and the outer glutes last two one more and then rest brilliant okay next up we are going to use a resistance band I haven't got it I just gotta grab it here it is <laughs> okay I'm gonna put it round 
We're going to go onto the floor on our knees. And we're going to do a fire hydrant out to the side, just on the right hand side. If you haven't got a resistance band, don't worry, you can also do this one without the resistance band. It just gives it a little bit more of a challenge when you have your resistance band on. And obviously, depending on the weight of the resistance band, so it could be light, medium or heavy, that's also gonna give you more of that outer glute burn. Pump it up. 10 more seconds here. Last one, right side, and relax, great work. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side now. So here we are, if you've got your resistance band then great. We're literally just gonna lift up with the left side and as high as you can out to the side. You can really feel it on the outer glute, connect your mind to your outer glute, let's go. Remember, we've got four rounds to complete today, so you've got a chance four times to do this as best you possibly can. We're focusing on just those two muscle groups. Inner thighs, outer glutes, last couple. Good, one more. And relax. Beautiful, okay. Next up, you can keep the band on if you've got it, but you don't have to, um, but pick up your weight. I've, I'm using my nine kg weight today. I'm gonna go in a really nice wide position, plie style, the weight is gonna be in front of you, sumo style. You're gonna go down, push out the knees, and rise up to center. So as you push out the knees, you should really feel your inner thighs engage. You're gonna feel the glutes as well. That's gonna be normal, but you really wanna engage the inner thigh. So push them out, push them out, push them out, rise up. <sighs> Breathing in and out. <sighs> nice work. Now, if you haven't got a band on that's really tight, then you can really push those knees out and make sure they don't fall over the toe line. So keep them knees in line with your foot. Rise up, <sighs> breathe out. Well done. <laughs> That was nice. Okay, put your weight down. Grab your yoga blocks and put them down. Heels are on. What we're doing next is a bridge abduction. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna squeeze out and in. Okay, let's do it. Out, in, out, in. You must keep your hips up nice and high. Squeeze your butt as tight as you possibly can. With the feet position, you can have them on the block like this too, flat on the block. It's up to you or your heels, it's wherever you feel most comfortable with as well. Open and then close. Imagine that you're on that machine in the gym. Add up to machine. Last one. Okay, great work, relax. Get yourselves up off the ground. Again, option to use the band, but don't have to. We're gonna do curtsies with the right leg going behind first, and then a side abduction. So there's two in one here. All right, so down, curtsy, and side abduction. Down, curtsy, side abduction. Now, if you've got a band on like me that's quite tight and heavy, you're not really gonna get out as far but push that band out as far as you can get your leg up and get the gains on the adductors. Great work. As you curtsy down, feel the glutes working as well. Last one. And then relax. Well done. All right, let's go to the other side. It is really a challenge with the band, especially if you've got one, as I said before, that's quite um, 
heavy in resistance. If you felt uncomfortable doing it with a band, then just whip it off now. You could do it without. Let's go on the other side. Curtsy, and then out to the side. Just practice that range of motion. That's the most important bit. Good work. Take your time, there's no rush. Abduct out. 10 seconds left. This is our number eight exercise. We're nearly on round two. And relax, great work. Okay, you're gonna have 30 seconds rest. So, whip that band off if you've, if you've already got it on. Let's pop it to the side. Remember the first exercise that we did. The left foot's on, and we're gonna side lunge out with that right foot. Okay, get ready, regenerate your energy. Let's step out as wide as we can and as deep as we can. Let's do it, round two. Good job, 20 seconds are left. Really feel that inner thigh working. Great job, let's do two more. And then relax, beautiful. Okay, change sides. Right foot on, get ready to step out nice and long with this leg. Keep it nice and straight so you can really get into the inner thigh. All right, let's do it. Halfway. Great job, round two of these. Next up we have the fire hydrant. So decide whether or not you're gonna use the band or not. Completely optional. Last one. And back to center, relax, good work. Okay, so I'm gonna whip my band back on. Of course it matches my sock colour. That wasn't deliberate at all, was it? <laughs> okay, get ready. Right side first. I'm going right side first. Out to the side and back in. I really want to get the gains in the outer glute. So I'm lifting up as high as I possibly can. I'm not half repping it. Out to the side, back down. I really want to feel the burn. No pain, no gain, as they say. Okay, last few, five more seconds. Shall we lift it up one more time on this right side? Yes. And relax. Ooh. We're gonna go over to the left now. And then we're doing that sumo plie. On that sumo plie coming up, I think I'm gonna take the band off because I might be able to get my legs a little bit wider this time since so it's quite heavy. So I might do that. You can decide whether to do that as well. Otherwise, let's go on the left first. Ignite. The outer thighs. Well done, 10 seconds to go here. Three, two, one. 
Oh, that's kicking in now, that's brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna whip the band off because I'm gonna do the sumo plies without the band. I think I'll get a wider range into the inner thighs. Nice wide legs, toes pointed out to the side. You're gonna hold the weight in the middle, push the knees out, down, rise up. That's it. You don't have to touch the floor if you can't, don't worry. Just get to your best range and rise. Breathe in and then out as you rise. Good job. 10 seconds to go. Yes, we're killing it so far. Well done. Rise and relax. Excellent work. So, the bridge abductions where we need the blocks, just place them on the floor. Back them with a band or without the band. Optional. I'm gonna go back with a band because that felt really, really great. Feet on, heels on. Out and in. I think about the connection, where are we working? Squeeze out as hard as you can, back in again. Out to glutes. Excellent work. We have 10 more seconds now. So let's kick out a few more. Do one more. Yes, well done. Good job. Okay, next up, with our weights, we're gonna do the curtsy with the side leg lift. And for this one, I am taking the band off again. So, left foot on the block, let's go back with the right, and then out to the side. It's a little bit of a balancing on this one as well, so make sure if you feel a little bit off balance, that you take your time, or have something nearby that you're comfortable with, that you can maybe just tap. But try to do it on your own anyway, to start. Also, you can do this without the weight. You don't have to have the weight, if it's uh, better for you. Last one. Oh, that was great. Over to the other side. I'm gonna go on the right side now. Left curtsy and left. Abduction. Let's go. I'm trying to maintain the balance nice and soft. Twenty seconds remaining. And we're nearly at the end of round two. We've got two left. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Good work. Okay, 30 seconds uh, of rest. Back into exercise number one. Have a little drink if you need to. And we're into round three. Excellent work so far, well done. I hope you're feeling it kicking in now. Should be feeling nice and warm as well. Let's step out to the right side, back in. Thirty seconds between each round seems to go so fast, doesn't it? Okay, halfway on this leg now. And let's try to get nice and deep, much deeper in the next two rounds, finishing nice and strong. 
So we can really feel the work in our inner thighs. Last two. One more. Back to centre. Relax. Good. Puffs you out a little bit as well, which is nice. <laughs> a little bit of cardio in there as well. Why not? Okay, let's step out to the left. Are you ready? Round three, let's go. That's it, full of energy now. All the fire and the blood has ignited in our bodies, so we're raring to go, even more so in the next two rounds. Great job. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Hope you're smiling back there as well, just like I am. <laughs> Last one. And relax. Great. Okay, let's grab the band. Going out to the fire hydrants all without no problem. All right. Down to the floor. Starting on the right, abduct out and then come back in. Good work. I really like to focus on this exercise, especially the mind connection into the outer glutes. And try and lift up as high as possible to the end. Last two. Squeeze out one more. Ooh, beautiful job. Okay. Left side. <laughs> Down. Make sure your shoulders are in line with your wrist, by the way, as well. So not too far back here. Let's keep it on top. And then abducts out to the left. Go. Seconds left. We're getting really focused in on the abduction out to the side. Last one. And relax. Oh, that was great. We've come out of there feeling, yeah, I did feel it. <laughs> Hope you did too. Okay, band back off for me again because I found that the plie sumos were a lot better when the band wasn't so tight. So I'm going to keep, keep it off. This exercise. Down, push the knees out and rise up. So we're in a PA squat with a sumo style, going down to the ground and rising up. Breathe in. Okay. 15 seconds to go. Let's go for one more. And rise and relax. Great. Okie dokie. Bridge abduction. So you know the drill now. The great thing about doing just eight exercises is that we do remember which ones are coming next, you know? Just makes it a lot easier to focus. Up and out. Focus on the outer glute. Ignite it if it isn't already. Hopefully it is, because it's round three. <laughs> if not, push harder. That's it. Now. 
10 seconds left. Great job, let's go for one more. And relax, nice. Ooh, those push-up touches are nice, aren't they? I like them, get a chance there on the floor as well. <laughs> Not being lazy or anything. All right, taking the band off to those curtsies. I'm gonna demonstrate this one actually without the weight. I'm gonna show you without the weight, okay? Curtsy, abduction out. Curtsy, abduction out, there you go. So when you don't have the weight here, you can go out a little bit higher, so your range of motion can be increased, but your resistance going down will be obviously less, because I was using a nine kg, so, but still great. I'll put them back into play on the last round when I finish strong. Let's go for one more. Oh, great. Now you can feel that in the supporting leg, because so obviously you're carrying a lot of your load on the other leg as well. So if you're feeling that, it's not unusual. It is normal. <laughs> Five seconds, and we're gonna go on the left side. Whew, let's do it. Nearly at the end of round three. Just one more to go. You've completed day five of Ignite. Our inner thighs and our outer glutes. I hope you stayed with me and managed to do all the other sessions as well. If not, you can go back into the playlist called Ignite on the channel and you can complete them in your own time. This is a series of opposing muscle groups. So we focus on the opposing muscle group. So things like biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, today inner thighs, outer glutes, and lots more to come. Well done. Have a little 30 second break. In the meantime, smash the like button, please. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me actually produce a lot more content for you guys going forward. So I'd be most grateful if you could do those in the break, brilliant, thank you. All right, round four, here we are. It's the last round. And we're gonna step out to the right. Let's go strong, finish strong. And up. Yes, now we should be able to go a little bit deeper because our muscle spindles are a little bit flexible, a bit more relaxed. So we should be able to get down. There's no excuses now, we've done this four times, so get as low as you can. Power yourself through, be strong, and stay strong. <laughs> Last one. Yes, good work. When it feels challenging and we don't feel like pushing through at the last bit because we're a bit tired, we can turn it around because what we need to say to ourselves is, I am strong and I can do this. And I'm gonna finish it as well. Don't bail out now. Don't you dare. <laughs> Stay with me. Good work. Fifteen seconds to go to give it your best shot on this last elevated side lunge. Three, two, last one, centre. Nice work. So, back to our band and our fire hydrants. Let's call the fire brigade. The fire hydrant is on fire. It's ignited and it's on fire. Out to the side, right side, for the last time. That's it. You really, really want to get out as high as you can, or get up as high as you can.
Great work, 15 seconds. Do not stop now. No pauses, no breaks are allowed. And last one. Oh, that was the one where I really, really felt it on that round. So I like that. Left side, get ready. Starting to sweat a bit now as well, which is always a good sign. <laughs> okay, left side as high as you can, let's go. <sighs> that sumo plie squat is coming up next. If you fancy it, grab a heavier weight if you haven't already done so, because why not? Because you're gonna finish strong, so you can go a bit heavier, so last time you're gonna do it. Or you can grab two weights if you haven't got one single heavy one. You can use two, no excuses. <laughs> last one. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the nine. <laughs> Because, yeah, because I like the nine actually. And I'm good with that. And I'm actually probably going to record another session after this week, guys. So, a little bit more energy in the tank. Down and rise up. And make sure you're pushing those knees in their knees. And naughty, they do sneak back in sometimes. They try, tend to collapse if the inner thighs are a little bit weaker. So train them by pushing them out, being nice and firm on your feet. Pushing into the heels, the whole foot, and rising in the same position. Last one. Great job. Let's get the blocks back on the floor for our bridge abductions. Last time round. Let's get out really nice and wide. Go for it. Out and in last time. Now keep the hips nice and high. Have a little feel. Are you working your outer glutes? Comment down below if you are after this session. Let me know what you felt the most in the session, how you felt. That'd be so great to hear from you. I'll reply to every single message that I receive. I will not leave any of you hanging, I promise. <laughs> Five more seconds. And relax. Great, okay, we've got two left, which is Curtsy and leg lift to the side. Now I did say I was going to use the weight, didn't I? So I'm sticking to my word. <laughs> so I'm going to use my 9kg. For the last time, down and then out to the side. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Now I can deal with the sweat dripping down my forehead. <laughs> Just shows what a great session it was. And even though I do many of these videos, even after the sessions, because I've produced so much variety, I feel my body for days, literally days after. So it does work if you keep it at a good pace as well. Last one. <laughs> great. We've got one more to do. So keeping that nice um, technique going and then the range of motion is so key, isn't it? To having an effective workout. All right, stay strong. Let's finish it off. Work halfway, we're nearly there, nearly finished. Oh. Sweat in my eye. 
Let's go for two more. One more. Ah, yes. We smashed it. We ignited the inner thighs and the outer glutes. Workout done. Well done. I'm really proud of you. Let's stretch and cool down. Stay with me if you can because we lengthen the muscles back out again. Okay. Get down on the right side. See if you can touch the floor. If not, don't worry. Hold it in position here because we want to lengthen back out that inner thigh muscle. Nice and long. Nice, long, lean legs. I mean, mine aren't that long, but you know, I'm working on it still. <laughs> I don't want to shorten them, that's for sure. And other side. Say prevention rather than cure, right? Back into the centre. Let's hold our hands down. Stay here, even though we didn't work the back of our legs, we're still going to stretch them out because it's all connected. You can wiggle your bum side to side as well and you'll feel that inner thigh stretch still. Just small movements, nothing big. And then outer glutes, which means we need to go down to the ground and we're going to go in at pigeon position. So if you can hold a pigeon position here, we're going to sit up nice and upright and get the glute down towards the ground. You'll feel a lovely stretch in that right or left side. Don't sit down like this. Try to stay up, just ease it to the ground, yeah? It's a really, really great stretch, especially for the hip and the outer glute. You should feel it all here. Come down and go even deeper. And let's change legs. I'm just going to change this side. You don't have to do it. I'm just going to face you this way. All right, sit up nice and tall. Breathe out, slowly get down towards the ground. Let's go on our elbows. Oh, such a great stretch, that's why we've been holding it for a little bit longer than usual. Why not, if you've got time. And then back up on your hands into the plank position. Go into the down dog position here with me. Stretch the back of the legs. Walk your hands in closer. Hang here for a moment. Nice stretch. So it's really worth doing these stretches because actually, uh, probably about a couple of years ago, I never used to be able to touch the ground with my hands at all. Uh, I was fit but not flexible, so I just continued to do them and stretch and take care of myself and my mobility. So I've been able to get my hands down now, so it does work if you keep at it. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next session. Please comment down below if you really enjoyed the session and I'll see you next time. Bye.